done so yet, please pause the video and give this question a try before listening on. It turns out that based on the description given in the question, we actually have a right triangle. So let's go ahead and draw that and describe where it's coming from. The rope that connects the bow of the boat to the pulley can be considered to be the hypotenuse of this right triangle, so we can mark it as C. The other two sides of the triangle can be marked A and B, of course. The question states that the pulley on the dock is one meter higher than the bow of the boat. So in essence, they're saying that this distance right here that we have marked as A is equal to one meter. And then the question asks how fast is the boat approaching the dock when it is eight meters from the dock. So the distance from the boat to the dock would be represented as B. And so we know that B is equal to eight. Now since the scenario described in the question is a right triangle, we can introduce the Pythagorean theorem. And then since the question is asking a how fast question, we know that the question really wants to calculate a rate. So this is a related rates problem. Any question that asks how fast is something moving is a related rates question. And in such questions, we have to calculate the derivative of the equation with respect to time. So for instance, with the first term, we're going to use a power rule where we pull the two down and then to the exponent we would subtract one, so it would become a to the positive one. And then we also multiply by the derivative of the variable with respect to time. That's a very important step in your related rates problems, is to make sure you multiply by the derivative of the variable with respect to time. So we'll do the same thing with the b squared and c squared terms. Notice that two appears in all three terms of the equation, so each term can be divided by two, which essentially cancels that two. We could then try to solve for the variable that the question is asking us to solve for. Once again, it's asking how fast is the boat approaching the dock? How fast is the boat approaching the dock? Well, the boat is approaching the dock sort of straight ahead as it gets reeled in by the pulley. So really the question wants to know how fast is the distance that we have marked B changing? In other words, we are being asked to calculate db dt. So why don't we go ahead and try to isolate db dt by first subtracting the a da dt term to the other side. And then we can divide both sides of the equation by b, and that's going to allow us to isolate db dt. What's interesting in this question is that we're going to see that da dt is actually equal to zero. And the reason is as follows. If we look at a as it's marked on the diagram, we could see that that distance would not be either growing or shrinking as the boat is reeled into the dock. So because that length is not changing, it's not getting bigger, it's not getting smaller, that tells us that the rate of change in a is equal to zero. That's going to effectively cancel out this entire term in our equation. dc dt, on the other hand, would be the rate of change in the length of c as the boat is being pulled in. If we go back to the question, it notes that the rope is being pulled in at a rate of one meter per second. Remember, C is where the rope actually was in the original diagram. So if the rope is being pulled in at a rate of one meter per second, that means that dc dt is changing by one meter per second. And furthermore, since that distance is shrinking as the boat is nearing the dock, technically then that rate that dc dt is a negative quantity. So we'd want to make sure to plug in a negative value in for dc dt. b was marked on the diagram as 8, of course. We just have to use Pythagorean theorem to find c, the length of the hypotenuse. And when we do that, we should see that c is the square root of 65. So now we know everything. We can go ahead and plug it in. c is the square root of 65 meters. dc dt is negative 1 meter per second. And then b is marked on the diagram as 8 meters. Notice that the meters here and here will cancel out. And so we would be left with negative the square root of 65 over 8 meters per second. And that will represent the correct value for db dt. As always, thanks for taking the time to watch this video. If you liked it, please subscribe so you can stay tuned for additional videos. And you can also send in your own question to the email address listed on your screen.